welcome people. And Kathy and I are trying to be a metre or so apart. As you can see, we're being as good as we can. How good is it to get together with somebody actually in the flesh for a change? Are we missing it? Although looking back, the earlier stages of coronavirus, when I would have three youngsters in a rather small studio and be gingerly trying to think, I can't adjust that read, but this child aged eight can't do it. Trying to put hands around it and then sanitize busily, it was painful. And I did have to crack when a little eight-year-old lad who has bass clarinet bigger than him couldn't put it apart and take it together. I had to do that. And then there was that painful time when we tell them to bring their pencil, their own pencil. And we have a pencil for me and a pencil for the student. Which was which? Oops, sanitise, sanitise. Although there is a rather funny story from the beginning of it. You heard that Tom Hanks uh, came down with coronavirus. And in the early stages, I came into my studio and our lovely admin assistant was busily spraying everything she could find, chairs, stands, benches, with the strongest antiseptic she could find. And it came out that the person who had just vacated that studio had been in a recording studio, a video filming studio, with Tom Hanks oh. working on the Elvis oh, biopic. No. <laughs> and it was rather surreal. And until he heard that Tom Hanks was clear and my colleague was clear, it was interesting how the degrees of separation came a little bit close for comfort. Mm. However, we had to try and not tell the students too much what was going on because we didn't want them getting excitable. And that's when we realised, okay, it's not such a bad thing being on Zoom and Skype and FaceTime and all of those. Which, some people have a brain that takes so much tech and then it's, oh, I've had enough. Uh, the first week was, no, I can't do this. The second week was, well, I'll jolly well have to, won't I? And by the end of the third week, each day, each week, it was total exhaustion. But we did it. And just think of all the initiative and the enterprise and the stretching ourselves out of our comfort zones. Were we clever? We did. I have realised there's a few things that one should do, first of all, is not schedule students back to back because sure enough we schedule a lesson we say it's going to be on FaceTime that somehow didn't work so we go to Skype no that didn't work so then we go to Zoom and it's supposed to be four o'clock but it's now three minutes past four and Zoom would not let me go anywhere except 4.30 which was going to run into the next student. So I have learned that we have to have time between students a, to get the tech happening, and B, to write up notes of what did we do in the lessons. I have had the trusty whiteboard for some. This is Henry and what he's working on, which I would take a photo of. And for others, I have a little post-it note pad, which is rather useful in the shape of a house. So I can write the date and what they were doing, take a photo of it and send it to them. You do realise that um, with... Um, record. Uh, well, if you do it via Facebook Messenger or yes. Skype, there's a chat function. True. So that you can actually record everything in the chat function. I was recording on Zoom, but then the files were huge yeah. and I didn't get them happening. Although since then I've discovered me transfer which does big files. Mm. Well, yeah, I, use, I use Dropbox. Yeah, yeah. So I probably will start doing that again, but I looked at it and went, AirDrop doesn't want to know. Maybe my Dropbox is full. Uh, it doesn't want to know unless I upgrade. So yeah, somehow we've got to follow up and say, this is what we did in the lesson. When you try and teach tonguing, oh. and this, 
the sound is I did quite a lengthy explanation of tonguing and I couldn't send it to her and the next week she was still performing. So that's life. Yeah, well you can uh, you can use different mediums. Mm. Um, and uh, I mean I've been sitting here smugly smiling. <laughs> you can. Because, you uh, can. because back when I did my masters at the conservatorium yeah. when I graduated in 2013, I took MUTEC. <laughs> music technology so yeah. um you know all the rise of these acapella apps yes. and everyone thinking they're so clever yeah. i mean i'm sorry i've been multi-tracking <laughs> since 2013 and not, just, right. and not just uh, and not just on um and not just on uh, logic i use yeah. logic and pro tools yes. i don't use pro tools because you have to yeah. pay for that but also um vegas movie oh. studio uh, you can do multi-screen sure. stuff and if you want to check out my videos, you'll, you'll see that. But yeah, so here's me, uh, rather, rather smug. <laughs> you know, uh, I think the first, on Facebook, the first uh, week I actually um, uh, published a, 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 a SoundCloud recording I'd done last oh, year awesome. of um, a Thomas Tallis yeah. motet yeah. before he parts. Oh. <laughs> and there's the other one when in, in a lesson a student had duets the week before it all cracked and says oh could she play a duet and I'm trying to play with her no, 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 lag, lag, lag lag and thinking mm. I don't think it's altogether her rhythm at fault mm. so the next lesson I taped the bottom line and then the top line of the duet and sent it to her and I haven't heard how she got down this is why YouTube's very powerful mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I mean I don't regard myself as a terrific teacher it's a frustration for me because <laughs> lot of knowledge um, but um, the delivery ain't you've there. got your skills yeah uh, I can get very good but I've actually done a lot of tutorial videos online yeah. and they have helped people and you get some really yeah. devoted fans yes. um, in the old Close book, you know, yes. the old hardcover. The heavy one, I've got that. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. There's uh, the 633 technical exercises. Yes, yeah. I recorded all of those. <laughs> and, I had, and I had this guy from Brazil. Yes, go through with Go you. through and, and comment on all of them. Oh, brilliant, you know. Oh, thanks for that. And thanks for that. Oh, yeah, I got to the end. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, some people didn't like it. My, um, my teaching style yeah. is... Um, is actually based on um, not evaluating your weaknesses, but evaluating mine. Interesting. So, um, and I know I've had comments that people didn't like, don't like my videos. It's like, well, you're hardly a master because what I'll do is I'll I'll be playing and I'll make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Now, the the teaching isn't that I'm an absolutely brilliant player. This is effortless. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've had teachers like that. They're not very effective. The most effective yes. teachers are the ones that aren't so good, that have the that have yes. the technical deficiencies. But what and they do it. is they work at those technical yes. deficiencies. Yes. So what I'll do is I'll play play. Oops. Okay, let's fix this up. Let's yes. work out how to fix this up. Um, so people sometimes don't like the videos because of all the um, mm -hmm. stuff ups. Mm -hmm. But to me, my stuff up is probably. It's Your the stuff best, up. but it's also the best teaching tool. And I put up on um, YouTube one clip where I went, oh, all right, I so did not want to squeak in a performance in front of my own students. I tell them all about buzz your lips beforehand and do this, and I checked my reads fastidiously. Oh, my gosh, I squeaked. And But you can't tell who squeaked <laughs> because you were playing with Sean. <laughs> And I stupidly fessed up, <laughs> but I beat up on myself for so long afterwards and went, oh, I did not want to squeak. And then I went, well, no, I'm human. And I've all, anyway, that's up there. They but actually, you might, so, so what you could have done with your tonguing mm. student, and uh, in the odd occasions where I have taught, I've, yeah. um, I've given freebies. Yeah. So what I'll do after a lesson is I'll have all these ideas buzzing in my yeah. head. Um, and rather than writing it down or whatever, I make a video. Sure. So what? Uh, so what I would do after the lessons is that I would then make a lesson of the mm. lesson on my own separate YouTube video. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
And the thing with reeds, I've got um, I've got a number of, uh, and this is the beauty of not being live because yes. this isn't live. This no. will be this will be yeah. edited. Uh, one of the uh, beauties is that uh, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, yeah. you can cut. So I've got uh, some of my most popular videos actually are my reed adjustment yes, videos. Yes. I've got the fine art of reed yeah. adjustment. Um, yes. Although I think that the three part series, because I've been on YouTube so long yes. that I remember when it only used to be 10 minute videos. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so, uh, you know, I, so I had re, you know, sort of. Um, Read adjustment parts one, two, yeah, three, yeah, that sort of thing. Um, and whereas I'm saying, oh, can you turn your read to show mm. me? And then I put up, oh, and I'm saying they've got to learn to adjust their own yeah. reads. But, but these I'll... are eight year olds, mm. nine year olds, and mm. it's a bit slow to mm. get it. And I'm saying my instinct tells me that your read is too high or too low. Mm. So I filmed a the they... video saying. <laughs> This is about right, and this is what you could but do. But you see, the beauty of editing yes. and uh, is that uh, I mean, this is a five thousand dollar camera. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, I still don't know mm -hmm. how to do a lot of the fancy stuff, but zoom in. <laughs> so um, you know, I'm sitting at my desk, and uh, you know, I'm I'm zoomed in. Yeah, you can't even see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting excited. I know, you can't I even. Uh, you can't even. You can't even see my face. You know, I'm not. I'm not vain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other thing I was going to say is when you start going on to Zoom and you think, oh, oh do, do I really I look, look like that? that? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And then that's what I put on Libby. <laughs> <laughs> and you've, we've just got to get over it. Otherwise, what are we going to do? Nothing. At least we can work. And the problem, the problem with, because um, after you've done your bit, mm. um, yeah. is that I'm going to have a, um, explain uh, my experiences of people teaching me sure. but also I'm gonna I'm also going to um, uh, extrapolate some of my MUTEC experience uh -huh. and my experience with recordings and how you listen to those recordings sure. because um, with my MUTEC training obviously I know how to manipulate sound to get what yeah. I want it to sound like sure. so um, yeah. I record in a spare bedroom um, and uh, I have a, I have a specialist mic that I use just for my recorders. I would use a different mic for clarinet, mm -hmm. but I have a specialist mic for my recorders. And mm -hmm. um, basic sound technique mm -hmm. is that uh, when you do uh, recordings, you have the mic as close as possible. Yes. Because um, I don't know if we can hear it. I'll have to uh -huh. have to review. Is that there's someone mowing the lawn across the road? Uh, and and, uh, and I have dogs. Yes. Um, but I was recording mm. just sound yeah, yeah. this afternoon before mm. you came mm. on Sound Studio. And I was thinking, I'm very close and it's not really very loud. Mm. Do I need to change the settings? Yeah. And I guess that is a worthwhile thing that you could help us with a video because I have to tell myself when I've got a student in a lesson, I'm not going to talk about tone. I'm going to talk about rhythm, notes. Fingers, well, you see, this is where do much this is where sound. device yeah. comes in, because um, honestly, the if you're going to listen to a YouTube video, mm -hmm. um, the best way to listen to it is through headphones, oh, yeah. because um, if I'm recording, say a, a sextet, record a sextet, yeah. and you've got a sopranino all the way down to a contrabass, yeah. yeah. you know, there's different sonorities yeah. now i know i i mm -hmm. use what's called i i add a bit of reverb because obviously i'm recording in a spare bedroom with carpet and curtains yes and uh, now that's pretty dead mm -hmm. now i add you can add reverb reverberation yes. so it sounds like you're in a church or something but you don't want it to sound like you're in a cathedral yes. so there's there's all these gradations it's you know and i yes. and i know how to to, to manipulate uh -huh. all the knobs yes uh, and also, I change the reverb according to the style. The yeah. No, the style. Oh, the style yeah. And I own the instrument. And then there's EQ. Yeah. Um, where, um, uh, so each of the recorders has a different, um, and clarinet yes. and voice, yes. has a different sort of sweet spot yes. um, in terms of range. And in EQ, you can highlight that wow. range. Yeah. Um, now, what I, what I do with my, as I said, I've been multi-tracking since mm. 2013, mm. Um, 
is that you're adding layer upon layer upon layer, and it's all, all gradually getting louder. But you've got all these sonorities, you've got these sonorities enhanced. Yes. And by the EQ, you've got a little bit of reverb. Now, an iPhone's not going to hack that in terms of yes. the richness. I mean, you can stick your headphone jack into the iPhone and it's like, oh, yeah. wow. You know, but, um, you know, and I, um, when I, when I record, um, when I listen through the headphones, oh, yeah. so we'll have to edit that. That's me playing oh. <laughs> on my phone. Very good. Oh, I'm going to say no. Okay, sorry. I declined the call. Sorry, folks. I will put it on silent. <laughs> That's number one we should know about. Edit! <laughs> That was me taking five, taking five, and I did three takes for the reading I was recording today for tomorrow's live stream church service, which will be in a stone building, you know, St. Mary's Kangaroo Point, lovely building. And I hope that the priest has got either his tech skills or people he can call on to make it sound like it's in the stone. But it, yeah, but, but, but anyway. So um, you've got all these beautiful sonorities yes. of recorder, and the recorder is an amazing yes. instrument, especially when you get into the lower guys. Yes, uh, and you get into the different woods and stuff. But if you if you listen to you know my videos on a iPhone, yes. you're going to get distortion. Sure. You even get distortion mm. on an iPad because yeah. uh, you know iPad speakers. Mm. And this is I was and also laptops on my iPad, and I had to take them across to Kathy on a USB because it was not cutting it with the sound, and that was when I thought I better call Kathy back um, <laughs> because I thought, oh, come on, I'll just record a few this is and that's because I haven't done anything for a while. But yes, there's a lot of tech to learn. And what do you think about should we have? But even laptops, even laptop. Well. You want a decent speaker. You don't want those little USB because you're going to get no. distortion. Is it enough? Do you think to use the laptop speakers? Not, Not really. really. No. No. Well, I mean, I'm going to talk about this mm -hmm. um, professor it, yes. um, uh, a little bit mm -hmm. later. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, it's fine for talking. But yeah, you would talk about clarinet tone. Um, over been, over yeah. laptop speakers or over a, over an iPad. I have been dodging the topic of tone, and mostly students don't get far with that one being raised. But then again, I'm just grateful that in this rather perilous time, I mean, I know musicians, Melbourne Symphony Orchestra oh, has locked down. They uh, they stood down their musicians. Stood down their musicians. They say they'll bring them back when it's all good, but they're devastated and the Sydney Opera and Ballet Orchestra earlier. And I'm just so grateful that, all right, we've lost live performances of the orchestra I play with, or two orchestras, Brisbane Symphony Orchestra and Musa Orchestra. And my husband who conducts those, of course, has lost a fee for those, um, for the whole year, pretty much, or for some. And in this perilous time, creative artists are not getting that much help, some of them, a lot of them. So we are fortunate that if we can keep teaching by online, we at least have some income. And I feel very blessed with that. So if I had to get my head around the tech, better do it. And even I'm going to put it out for more um, people wider stream to do yes. YouTube, online YouTube lessons. YouTube, very Yes, helpful. yeah.